Hi, good morning, students. Uh, today we will study about joint venture, which is uh, an A2 level topic. So these are the syllabus requirements. Number one, you have to make uh, ledger accounts sometimes, and uh, we must be able to know that how to calculate profit or loss uh, from a joint venture. Uh, first of all, what is a joint venture account? A, a joint venture is between two people. It can be they can be sole owners of sole trader businesses or uh, a joint venture can be between two companies or two or more companies. Uh, what they do is see the term venture. They work on a separate business or a separate project. Usually it's for a specific time period, okay, to earn, obviously to earn profits. Well, let's say there is a joint venture between two uh, owners, Johnny and Pinky. They, do, they, they will open joint venture accounts uh, in their own books simply. What are joint venture accounts? And how do they look like? So Johnny, in his books of accounting, he will make a joint venture account that looks like this. The title will be joint venture with Pinky. Okay. Remember that cash received, like incomes, they appear on the credit side of the account, and all of the expenses they appear on the debit side. Now here uh, you have to note one thing down: that Johnny will only record his transaction he will record his part of the joint venture similarly in pinky's books she will open an account joint venture with johnny and she will put any cash re received by her on the credit side and the expenses on the debit side again okay, she will only record her transaction now here pinky does not have any clue about what's going on with johnny or what transactions he is doing right so and Johnny doesn't know anything about Pinky. Now moving to how, how can we calculate profit or loss. So uh, till now, as we discussed, they don't know anything about uh, what's uh, happening on the other side. Here they will decide to share information. Johnny will say, okay, hey Pinky, can you WhatsApp me your JV account? Uh, I want to calculate profit. So because since pro there's a profit and maybe she owes some money to Johnny or maybe Johnny owes some money to Pinky. So they, the only way they can uh, know about it is if they make a joint venture, a combined account. So for this, they need, they need to share information. Moving ahead, after sharing information, they will make, both of them will make this account, memorandum account. This account will calculate the profit from the joint venture. Okay. Please note that Johnny cannot, from his books, he cannot calculate the profit. And uh, Pinky also, she cannot calculate the profit from her books. They need to share information. Once they share information, they are able to make this account. It's it's more, it's more it's similar, the concept is similar, but we need to make some changes here. So let's say you're putting cash received on the credit side here, cash received by Johnny and cash received by Pinky. You will add them up. And same thing uh, you will do the same thing for expenses expenses are going to be combined uh, sometimes in a, in, in a question they give a specific expense like for example electricity expense was only paid for by johnny so obviously you cannot add it up since pinky didn't pay anything in electricity so <clears throat> same expense will come here but in that case you will not need to add it up to anything else so just write expense for or electricity expense uh, that's it right so once you uh, write the cash received and the expenses now is the time to calculate the profit it's very simple if this is bigger the cash received is bigger than all of the expenses this means that there will be a profit and profit will appear on this side as a balancing figure but what you need to do is you need to calculate the profits separately so it's simple formula, cash received minus all of the expenses. This will give you the profit. Uh, remember that you don't need to write the whole profit figure on this side. You need to break it down, share it between Johnny and Pinky according to the ratios. The ratios will always be given in the question. You just need to multiply it with profit. This will give you the shares. So if there is a profit, the share of profits will come, will appear on the debit side. Now. There, there's, there's not a guarantee there that there will always be a profit. There can be a loss, so you, you must be alert for that. 
if this side, the cash receipt side, is smaller and uh, this side is bigger, the expenses side is bigger, there will be a loss and the balancing figures will come on the credit side. So how to calculate the loss? It's a simple, same formula. Same, uh, if, if you use this formula, it will be a negative figure or another way, this side minus this side will give you the loss. So now what you need to do is you need to multiply again the ratios with the loss and uh, write the share of uh, the share of Johnny and share of Pinky on the credit side. Uh, this is how you make the memorandum account. So so far they both know that they have uh, made profit, how much profit they have made, or how much loss they have made. What are the shares of the profits, or how the loss is going to be shared among them? So what's the next step? Before going to the next step, I'll just explain how. Uh, the ratios are calculated. For example, uh, let's say if, if they tell you that the ratio, the profit sharing ratio is 2 ratio 1, so it's, it's simple that Johnny's ratio would be 2, uh, 2 or 3, Pinky's ratio will be 1 divided by 3. Uh, you can multiply it with either the profit or the loss and you can calculate their shares. So I'm just repeating as uh, how to calculate these amounts, either these or these remember that there can only be a profit or a loss so uh, either this will appear in your account or that so let's go ahead and see uh, any additional information about memorandum account it's just uh, always remember it's, it's not a part of double entry system yeah it's only used for calculation purposes you want to know the profits and losses you will use a memorandum account it's simple but there like we saw these accounts the joint venture in, in account in the Johnny's books, it's the part of double entry system. You can complete the double entry very easily. Let's say this is cash received. Now my question is, which what would be the other account where this entry will be recorded? Think, yeah, the other account will be cash. So there is a separate cash account in Johnny's books where this amount will be debited. And similarly, any expense. Let's say this is electricity expense. So which other account would be used to complete the double entry? Exactly, electricity account. So if it's being debited here in the same account, electricity account, it will be credited. And this is how you complete double entry. They, they might ask you to pass a journal entry. Uh, so you just need to look at the name of the expense and you can easily tell them that since joint venture is being debited, the electricity account will be credited okay now in johnny's book he has to complete his joint venture account that he opened with pinky in the first place right so since we have cash received and uh, we already recorded the expenses let's say there's a share of profit so what johnny will do is uh, share of profit will be debited will appear on the debit side okay always remember profit is always going to be on the debit side so if he wants to calculate how much cash he owes to Pinky or how much cash Pinky owes to him. He just needs to uh, calculate the difference. So let's say if cash received, if I have cash received and now I have expenses and the share of profits, I'll just take the difference. If this side is bigger, the cash received side is bigger than these four items, the cash balance, the balancing figure will appear on this side, debit side, so this means that he has to pay cash to Pinky. So he will write cash transferred, right? And he will write the cash amount. This will be transferred to the other party. On the other hand, if uh, let's say there's a share of loss, so again, you will find the difference between these this side and these three expenses and see where the balancing figure comes. If the balancing figure comes on the credit side, this means that uh, Pinky has to pay cash to Johnny. So again, if your balancing figure is coming on the credit side, you have to receive cash. If uh, cash is appearing on the debit side, then you have to transfer cash. You can write cash transferred or here cash received from Pinky. So same thing will be in the Pinky's box. So uh, remember I wrote or means that either there will be a share of profit or there will be share of loss. Either she will have to pay cash to John or she will have to receive cash from John. In this case, cash is the balancing figure. After completing the joint venture account, now we will go for uh, to, uh, to know where do the profits and losses go. For example, where would 
this share of profit go in Pinky's books? Can you think of it? Where, where would she record this profit? Yes, this will go in her income statement. When she's making her income statement, it will be added up in the heading other incomes. So this will exactly in their income statements. What happens to the memorandum account? Of course, it will uh, close down after the parties get their shares. It's, it's over. It will be closed down automatically. So I think that's about it. And uh, if you have any questions uh, from the concept, you can post a question. Or if, if there's any issue in any other concept, I will be more than happy to upload another video. Um, well, it's, it's your choice if you want to like or subscribe. But uh, if you think someone can get some benefit out of this video, please share. Thank you and have a nice day.